The Amigos producers make their melodies hit hard by playing the right notes that fit them perfectly. You want to make sure your drums are hitting the right levels. What's poppin' gang? Today I'm going to be making a beat that Amigos will probably get on. They just released their new album not too long ago and it was so dope. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite song from the album. If you want to download any of the drums that I use in this video, there will be a link in the description where you can download them for free. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm going to start off by using just a piano and then I'm probably going to change it later on with a different pattern or something like that. So I'm gonna start off by using a C sharp major. Majority of the songs on the album were a C sharp major. Pretty much the best songs on the album were like that. And majority of the BPMs on that album were like 126, 136, or 164, 148. So I'm gonna start off with around there. Let's go with 136 and let's get to it. But before I continue, I just want to talk about one of our sponsors. Shout out to DistroKid. If you don't have a DistroKid account, you're missing out a whole lot. You're missing out on a whole lot of new features that they just now released, and they're always adding new features. For an example, you can now choose to get on one of DistroKid's Spotify playlists to get more views to your songs. You can share the link to some of your fans and get a higher chance of your song getting onto that playlist for free. When you share the link, it'll look something like this, and people can vote for you to get on the playlist for free. And more views so why not just join it they also have a new option where you can now get synced lyrics into your songs and personally that's one of my favorite features with music and some of these apps and stuff like that i actually read lyric just to have that option to be put on your own songs i think that's honestly pretty dope next is the option called promo cards that they just added where you can have lots of promo cards you can use to share on different social medias like instagram tiktok and even youtube shorts here's how some of them look and it looks super easy Easy and really good and pleasing to the eye in my opinion. I really like this one right here. This is pretty cool too, the little billboard look. And these are all for free. Next, they have a new option called mini videos and you can post them anywhere on social media and it's like a visual representation of, you know, your music. Here's a few of them right here. They look really good, honestly. You know, here's one right here and you can just literally like play it and just see what it looks like. And it looks pretty cool in my opinion, look at that. And it's all for free. People are gonna be thinking you're in a big labor or something because you have all these visuals. If you don't have a DistroKid account, I really think you're missing out. Link in the description if you want to get 7% off. You have nothing to lose. Now back to the video. So I think that's a good piano pattern right there. So I, I'm gonna go with that for sure. Okay, so I like this piano here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it up. Maybe actually use Omnisphere or something like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is try to see if I can use those same notes, arpeggiator or something like that. See if we can get a good sound. So I found the sound here. Let me just hit it up. Okay. 
Okay, I think it's ready for some drums. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and just throw in the 808. So I'll play this beat at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys stay safe. Let me know what videos you would like to see on this channel. And again, also let me know exactly what was your favorite song from that album from the Migos, The Culture 3. You guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.